Hello, it's Wayne here from Whiskey Alpha, and one of the questions I've been asked recently is, how do I record the in-flight audio on my videos? And it's simple. I use one of these, and I use one of these. Actually, I don't. It's a lot simpler than that, and now I'm gonna tell you how. Now I use GoPros to record my flights. This is a GoPro. These are what's known as an action cam. They basically have a fixed lens on the front, screen on the back, and they record to a micro SD card. The one thing with the GoPro is there's no standard way of plugging a microphone in. They have built-in microphones themselves, but if you use that in an aircraft environment, all you hear is the aircraft noise. Now, I've actually had people complain that some of my videos don't have aircraft noise, but if I just give you aircraft noise, you're not going to hear any of the ATC. Flight 209 are clear for vector 324. We have clearance, Clarence. Roger, roger. What's our vector, Victor? You're not going to hear any of the intercoms. By the way, is there anyone on board who knows how to fly a plane? So you need something a little bit extra. And what we have is something called a media mod. Now, this is a GoPro with a media mod. And basically, it's a shell that plugs in around the outside of the GoPro and it gives you an extra socket or two. The important one is this one, which is a three and a half mil jack socket, which allows you to plug in an external microphone or a line in, and that's what you need. Now, before I go any further, there are companies out there that are going to sell you an expensive set of aviation cables to allow you to connect to your aircraft, and the simple answer is you don't need them. You need two very simple items. You need a headphone adapter. Now, this is a 6.35 millimeter or quarter inch stereo jack socket on one end and has two sockets on the other end. And the idea is this plugs into the aircraft and allows you to plug your headset and plug an extra cable in which goes to your GoPro. The cable you need has a 6.35 millimeter or quarter inch jack socket on one end and on the other end has a 3.5 millimeter plug or one eighth jack socket and that plugs into the GoPro. And it's really quite simple. Both of these you can buy off Amazon for a few pounds, or if you're in America, a few dollars. But how does it connect? Now, standard GA aircraft will have headsets with two plug sockets. The more modern might have a six pin Limo connector. This is for those of us who are flying aircraft that's a slightly older, and we have two plug sockets or two plugs. One of which is the headphone plug, and one of which is the microphone plug. Now, how do we work this with my little adapter? We take the headphone plug and plug it into one of the sockets on the adapter, like so. These two plugs now get plugged into the aircraft. Then we end up with a spare socket, which we can now plug our cable into, like so. And the other end of this cable now plugs into the GoPro, like so. Before you can actually run the GoPro with an external input, you need to switch the media mod into line in mode, and that's quite simple. So to change the microphone option on media mod, we need to go down to the right, choose preferences, scroll to mods. You'll notice now that the media mod is set to the standard mic, and this is the default. So what we now need to do is to plug in, like so, and now you can change this to line in. Now you've got the line in set up. Once you have everything plugged in, make sure you tuck all the cables away. You have to ensure that no cable or camera or any other device is going to interfere with any part of the aircraft, especially any controls or control surfaces. Whatever you do, make sure it is safe. One of the reasons I like to use GoPro to record the sound is it makes syncing the video and the sound much easier. If you use an external recorder, you have the extra step of having to sync the sound to the video. Because I use multiple GoPros, I can use the other GoPros to record external sound, so I get the sound of the engine, which I can then edit into the videos later, which does please somebody. I hope that helps. If it does, please consider the old thumbs up and possibly subscribe to the channel if you're not doing so already. If you have any comments or questions, then please leave them in the section below and I'll do my best to answer them. But whatever you do, please have fun, fly safe. Bye.